But for some people, it's a bit confusing. What does it mean? And I can't stress the importance enough of on LinkedIn advertising yourself. Now, my humble and strong recommendation, where possible, try to avoid easy apply. Hey guys, welcome to Oxyvlogs. On this channel, I talk about life, work and business in Dubai. And today I have a guest, <laughs> Trisha Chapman. She is a career consultant. We filmed already a lot of videos and you can find all of them on my YouTube channel related to how to find a job in Dubai. There are a lot of useful tips. And today we have a video specific for those who have more than 12 or 15 years of experience and they want to find a job in Dubai. So Trisha, what can you recommend uh, for those who are looking for a job in Dubai but they have more than 12 years of experience? Yeah, it's a good question because to be honest with you, you know, those with us with a little bit more of experience probably would be considering where we want to be finalizing our career. So it's really important and again, um, networking, but alongside of this is how you showcase your unique selling proposition. And that goes just beyond your job, so your, your work history. You really need to showcase, you know, thought leadership, agile leadership, showcasing your problem solving capabilities um, and quantifiable metrics. So really demonstrating what is your unique selling proposition with clear numbers, percentages, how can you enhance the company's bottom or top line figures. So rather than just showcasing responsibilities on your CV, you know, demonstrating and articulating really clear cut achievements. So on top of this, now of course, you know, there's so many uh, jobs going through the, the portals, but start personal branding. You know, I really can't stress the importance of enough to showcase, you know, what leadership have you got within the community or within the workplace? Understand the culture, you know, of where you're going to be moving um, and showcase this. Because if you're not noticed on the digital space, it's really difficult to be standing out just through a job application. And as you know, the first thing that you do, um, you know, when you see, receive a CV or you've shortlisted five or six candidates, you'll want to know a little bit more about them. Who are they connected with? Maybe they've got board, uh, board member experience. What other extracurricular activities have they been doing outside of the workplace? Guys, before we continue, I want to say that if you've been looking for a job in Dubai, but you have no success, um, you feel frustrated, Trisha can help you with your job search journey. So Trisha, please, can you tell us what services you provide and how you can help? It would be my pleasure. I would absolutely love to be able to help you in unlocking your potential. I'll be able to assist with all of the necessary tools for a successful job application. So what does that mean? a CV, an ATS compliant resume of course, LinkedIn optimization, cover letters, personal branding and showcasing how you can unlock your potential. And the most important question, do you help to connect with recruiters? Absolutely. So in all of my packages, you receive a list of all of the UAE recruiters here, as well as a list of available jobs. And you're talking about networking, but for some people it's a bit confusing. What does it mean and where do they need to go? Because they don't know, they just moved to Dubai or they're moving to Dubai. So what they should do? Yeah, so I guess, you know, People tend to stick to their own um, nationalities or small groups, you know, something that they're comfortable with. You know, mm. for, for example, Aussies will always generally hang out with Aussies yeah. or South Africans usually hang out with, uh, go to the bar or whatever with their other South African crew. So it's important here in Dubai, it's such a multicultural area that you really um, go out of your way, maybe even get out of your comfort, comfort zone to be attending events that maybe you wouldn't usually do. So, you know, this is where you'll meet connections. This is where you'll get to be able to interact. Um, maybe you could volunteer even as a guest speaker somewhere, um, uh, do some volunteering even, just to showcase, you know, your, your true leadership style uh, and mix with people that you generally you, that you wouldn't because this is where the opportunities come yeah. so in addition to all those communities I think LinkedIn also is a great uh, way how you can build networking right yeah absolutely I mean there's lots of different groups that you can join um, of course not all of them are active but uh, even the events you know people post their upcoming events on LinkedIn um, this is probably one of the strategies that I cover in either uh, my one-to-one -one services any master classes that I run and uh, and the UAE job seeker package Package. I've got like a, a checklist that ensures that you know how to use the platform so definitely feel free to you know to reach out if you would like any help and, and of course your audience is more than welcome to uh, to using a code or whatever you would like. <laughs> uh, 
uh, how senior management can move uh, through different sectors? Yeah, it's a good question because uh, when you've got, you know, a number of years under your belt, you've generally done quite a lot of things. So, you know, you've probably covered a little bit of marketing in your time, the commercial, you've had P&L experience, uh, coaching, mentoring, people management, um, the supply chain, HR, you know, you, you've, you've done, a, done a lot, especially if you've even done a consulting role. Um, but it's really important to be showcasing your talents, your experience, uh, your unique selling proposition that is specifically for that advert. Mm -hmm. So yes, you may have done all of this, but really focus, fine tune your skill sets towards what that JD is asking of you. So, you know, really highlighting your skills in terms of umbrellas. So you could list, you know, maybe four or five different skills and then outline the achievements within those skill sets and then go on to your, uh, to your work history. And I can't stress the importance enough of on LinkedIn, advertising yourself, get noticed, you know, really make sure that you're, you're driving your personal brand uh, with this type of content. So tell the world, be confident and, and happy uh, about what you've done. Uh, I have a very interesting question. Let's say I have 10 years of experience, but then I go on maternity leave. <laughs> and uh, some women, when they go back to work, um, like companies, they don't want to hire them because they kind of lost these two years. They're not up to date with their knowledge. So what can you recommend in this case? Yeah, I love it. I love it because first of all, um, you know, it's a part of female, you know, a part of family life. You know, you can't stop this. It's inevitable. It's going to happen and employees get it. I mean, you know, so many people go on maternity leave and it shouldn't be a reason why you shouldn't be hired. So just be open and honest. You can literally list it on your resume or on your application um, you know, 18 months maternity leave or um, you know, family time and then just put the timeline. And employees, employers understand this, okay? Um, I'm sure that there's other females in the HR department, it's natural. But, so make sure that during this time, maybe you will do a couple of quick or short courses to keep yourself up in the market. LinkedIn Learning, for example, or um, you know, a six to eight week course that you can find online, mm -hmm. just so that, um, you know, even if you did it over the, over the 18 months, but at least that you showcase that you've still got that skills, you're still showing professional development. Um, and even if you haven't, you know what, it's totally fine, it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. It just means that you would have to try other ways or showcase what you did prior more heavily. Let's say there is a situation when you have 15 years of experience in one company, but then for some reason you decide to move to another place or find another job. Um, how do you showcase that you are ready for another opportunity? Mm -hmm. These days it's, uh, it's quite rare that people have stayed in the, in the one company for 15 years, that's for sure. But definitely, I mean, this happens and, and people do struggle. I mean, um, you know, you're generally, you're quite comfortable. You are, you know, a leader within that sector. Um, and then a time, the time comes for you to move along, whether it was your choice or not. Um, and you, you feel a bit lost, you know, you haven't applied for a job in 14, 15 years. Like, how do I do this? So, you know, don't worry, it's possible, it's doable. Um, how do you do it? So again, it's really important that you are showcasing only the skill sets that are required for that company or that job description um, and really fine tuning yourself. So being as specific as you can, that is relevant for that position. So you want to showcase and give a little bit of flavor of what you have done over your career, you know, being clear with your executive summary, showcasing specific software or specific experience that would be able to uh, improve that next company's um, trajectory and really focus in on your, on your achievements. So, you know, keeping your documents to two, two pages, you know, but then presenting other documents, you know, whether it's having strong references, um, your, your gap analysis of the company, and really going above and beyond just a CV. You know, you've, you've got to think uh, outside the box. Because don't forget, um, you've done a lot in, in, the, in the one company, um, but you only want to be showcasing something that is relevant and specific for that application. And uh, some companies, um, they require a cover letter and it's recommended to add cover letter to your CV. But when you apply through LinkedIn, usually they, uh, through that apply button, you upload only one document, it's your CV. 
So in this case, it means that you don't need to attach cover letter or do you advise to add cover letter in that one document? Yeah, so there's two, uh, no, it's a good, it's a good question. So there's two um, options on LinkedIn. So there's easy apply mm -hmm. and apply. Now, my humble and strong recommendation where possible, try to avoid easy apply. Why? Because it, it initially or first screens your LinkedIn. So if you don't have the right keywords, the right match, on your LinkedIn profile, you will automatically be ranked less than compared to going to the apply button where you've got the chance to be able to upload purely your CV. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a and good then, point. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. exactly. So um, uh, the senior managers generally require a cover letter. Um, it will say, you know, when you go to the portal, whether it's Workday or the company internal portal, it will say you've got the option to upload your CV, your cover letter, and any other additional documentation. Mm -hmm. So unless it specifically states cover letter, I wouldn't be uploading it as an additional information. So follow the instructions. So I know it sounds simple, but I wouldn't be adding a, C a cover letter to the top of the CV. It's just extra information that recruiters will probably just scroll past unless it's requested. Okay, and one more question. Uh, are there any specific recruitment companies or executive uh, search firms that, that are looking for like people with 15 years of experience? Can you recommend any of them? Yeah, th so they are. They do exist out, uh, out there. There's quite a number of executive uh, search firms here. Mm -hmm. However, in saying that, um, again, be careful. Not all of them are legitimate. And second of all, don't purchase something. So you shouldn't have to be paying to be uh, on their platform so I would just be you know really conscious um, it's actually illegal here in Dubai to be accepting money or you know funds from the job seeker so if companies are saying you know they would take some of your salary um, then then it's illegal you cannot do that so the the executive search firms are generally legitimate here um, they work for the clients though you know mm -hmm. uh, you do have to register you'll have to fill out all of your information on each and every one of the of the platforms which it, unfortunately is time consuming um, i do have quite a big list so i'm happy to share that with you yeah, you know you can uh, you can put it on the link below mm -hmm. and you can download it it's all in one excel file um, but guys don't pay you shouldn't be paying uh, it's totally illegal here to be accepting any form of salary uh, shares with, with a, an executive search firm. And I think it's, uh, it's related to everyone who is looking for a job. Absolutely. So usually company who is looking for a candidate, they're paying to recruitment agents. Yeah. Yep. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, guys, again, if you have any questions or you need help uh, with, help, uh, with finding a job in Dubai, you can reach out to Trisha. Uh, she'll help you to craft your CV. She'll help you with your LinkedIn optimi optimization. She will provide you with a consultation how you can stand out on the market and find your dream job in Dubai. Thank you for watching and all the links are in the description under this video. See you soon. Bye-bye.